My name is Ben Hongo. I'm a teaching professional here at the Couple of Golf Academy. And today I would like to talk about eliminating your slice. I estimate 50% of my lessons are about getting rid of the slice and I have few information to remedy your slice uh, issues. So stay tuned. Slices are a result of two major errors. Number one, club face. Number two, club path. So the last swing I just made, the track man just let me know that my club path was outside in nine and a half degrees. Okay, it's traveling to, towards the left of the target and my club face was about two degrees to the right, okay, which created about 82 feet of curvature to the right. So what we have to try to do is one, square up the club face, two, figure out how to swing the golf club online. My opinion, we need to work on the club face first, okay, and then we're gonna work on the pad second. So first thing I'm gonna go to is how we hold the golf club, the grip. There is a part of your wrist, it's right underneath your thumb, and if you feel it around, there's a little empty spot right here, it's called a snuff box. What I'm going to try to do is, I'm going to try to get the snuff box so it is placed slightly right of this logo I have on my glove. Okay, so if I show you this way over here, here's my snuff box. Here's a logo, and I'm going to try to get that either on that logo or slightly on the right side. We don't want to have the snuff box left of the logo. Number two, we're going to be looking at key positions in the takeaway. So first thing we're going to be looking at is position two where the club is parallel to the ground, and I want the club face to be somewhat square to my spine angle. So if my spine angle is in this position here, I want the bottom of the golf club to match up to my spine angle. Number three, we're going to go all the way up to the top of the golf swing here, okay, and we're going to look at the left wrist position. So we have flexion and, uh, and extension on the wrist, okay, we, in golf terminology this is called cupped, okay, and this is called bowed. And we want to try to get the back of the left wrist either pretty neutral or slightly on the bowed position here. Just as a note, we see Dustin Johnson, number one player in the world right now, really bowed. And we see Jordan Speed slightly bowed as well. Okay. And that's going to control the club face or put it into a more of a closed position. Number three is we're going to be looking at the release pattern okay going through the golf ball so we see a lot of players having some type of a chicken wing which makes it very difficult to get the club face rotated around so we can do some drills i call this toe tap okay just tapping the toe into a object past the golf ball okay so there are three major things that we can work on when it comes to controlling the club face. Number one, the grip. Number two, key points in the backswing. Halfway point, make sure that the club face matches your spine. Top of the golf swing, let's look at that left wrist position. Number three, release pattern. Make sure that we're having some type of a rotation out of the club face. Obviously, if we do any, uh, overdo any of these things, okay, we can see the ball going a little bit to the left. But, but I think for a lot of slicers, that's probably a um, welcome result. Second thing is the path angle. Okay, I got a string here. This is kind of representing a target line. Okay. We're going to try to swing the golf club down the line. So one of the things we're going to have to look at in our setup is our, our ball placement. So if I place the ball too far forward, it's going to open the shoulders up and get the golf club to work outside in. We also, from the top of the golf swing, need to look at sequencing, okay, from the top of the golf swing. The word shallow, okay, is a real uh, popular word these days, and it's just this golf, the shaft of the golf club actually getting more from a vertical position to horizontal position as we 
approach the ball with the golf club. So hopefully if we put everything together, I can change that. I can change the numbers on my track man. So let's, let's give it a try here. I'm gonna go to a little stronger grip. Make sure my golf club looks pretty square, halfway back, top of the golf swing. And then from here, I'm gonna try to swing the golf club a little bit inside out. All right, so let's see what my orange box tells me now. So that was inside out about two and a half degrees. My club face was about uh, a one degree open to the target, which means it's slightly close to the path. Okay, and the curvature on the golf ball was almost dead straight. All right, I hope this, uh, this tip helps. For more um, information about golf at Kapalua, visit our website, www.golfatkapalua.com. Aloha, hope to see you soon.